Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in County Kerry, just outside Killarney. And uh, we've drove four and a half hours to get here. This is White Chapel um, Church and Graveyard. Now the church was rebuilt in uh, 1750. Um, so that tells you that there was a much earlier site than this one. And as you can see, beautiful graffiti there on the wall as well. I hope you didn't catch that one, guys. I'll try and blur it out, but um, it is a beautiful area. We are surrounded by mountains, Schlieve Mish and the McGillicuddy Reeks. Um, the whole area is stunning, but um, this is just such an old, old uh, graveyard. Um, so as I said, they rebuilt the church 1750. So prior to that, um, you can only imagine how old it is. There's not much information here really on this area. Wow, look at that. A huge vault, I believe, starting to crumble. Won't be long till that is completely crumbled away. John Turner, 1912, age 64, and his wife Susan, 1917, age 57, also. Abraham Huggard, 1900s, age 85. There's Mary there as well, 1908. And we have three more names, Mary Ann, Samuel, and Elizabeth Jane. 17 years, 23 years, and 67 years. So, as you can see, we are blessed with a beautiful day. Um, I know there is vaults in here. And uh, I did read, when I was trying to find some information on the place, I did read that um, somebody was visiting, or, do you know, they were going for a walk, and they found one of the vaults completely broken open. They reported it to the guards. I think this was around 2015, but they reported it to the guards. And I think the guards went back to the church or whoever owned it, the church, or who owns the church, because I'm not sure. And uh, the church themselves basically said it was up to the family to sort it out. And I'm here today to see if it has been sorted out because we're nearly 10 years after. So I think we'll start right up in the corner and you can see we are just so isolated here, just completely surrounded by these beautiful woodlands. So I can already see, guys, wow, look at this. This vault is completely broken. I'm not sure which vault they were on about, possibly this one. There doesn't seem to be even a name on it. Oh, and unfortunately, I think there is remains there, isn't there? Coffins. Bits of coffins. Skull. Uh, skull cap. Yeah. Bones. So obviously, Lips. even somebody reporting this place, nothing has been done. And uh, I have videos up on my channel of this kind of thing. And this is where it comes full circle. It is down to the family to maintain areas. And when they're gone, nobody does it. Um, beautiful cross here, like a scroll. You can see how old that is with just the moss growing on it. Can't read it. Looks like a Mrs. P. J. J. Hannafin. J. Hannafin and P. J. Hannafin. So Mr. and Mrs. I presume there. That is stunning though. Actually kind of like the moss, the way it takes over. It is a pity it's like it's a this. Area, like Just look at that. Can you imagine what this was like back in the day? The church there, the congregation, these beautiful vaults, and they would have been absolutely stunning. This one is also, this one here is also falling apart. It actually looks like the roof is caving in. Here is another one. This one also looks completely broken and open. It just seems to be lots of, um, lots of coffins, doesn't it? It's actually quite a small chamber. That's that is actually, yeah, that is a coffin actually, what we're seeing there. 
you shine the torch just to, yeah that's a full coffin it's completely broken and then we do have unfortunately remains there as well which is just very very sad to see and you can see nature taken taken back all again it's just completely covered i mean there is something very very beautiful about it um beauty and decay i always say that um and it is but it's sad when the remains are exposed this is hannafin the hannafin family castle main just on that little iron cross there they could be actually connected to this vault behind them possibly I didn't see any names on this one here. Uh, usually with these ones, the names are actually wrote on top, like um, a tomb slab. And it makes it very hard for you to read them. Oh, wow, yeah, this one is completely crumbling. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, the roof, mm -hmm. is, the roof is caved in. Gosh. I think the roof is probably going to be sitting on top of whatever was there, isn't it? Yeah. That's so sad. Stone came in on top. Wow. Whoa. See, it's it's just crumbling. As I put my hand to that rock, it's 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 just moved there. Gosh, we have another one. These are eighteen hundreds, guys. This one in front of us is eighteen oh one, I believe. So even if there is family alive. They don't probably know that they're here. Um, look at the moss. Erected by Derby. That's the name there, is it? Derby God Godfrey. Godfrey, I love that name. Uh, in memory of his wife, Honora Godfrey, who died January 1801. 18. Sorry guys, I can't see with the sun, so I'm sorry there's 1801 there. And it's for his wife. And um, what did we say her name was? Honora. Honora Godfrey, 1801. Wow, what a mess. You can hear the squelching underneath my feet even. So you can see some of the stones have come in. Wow, there's more than Honora in there, I would say. That is just... <sighs> it's a lot of bones, isn't it? Wow, I mean... Like, as I said, it was, I think, I don't know whether it was a local because it is very, very isolated. But it was either somebody that visited the area or, you know, walked along the area and realised that is, it's open, you know. Why people, we get a lot of comments on videos about people often to, to be cremated. Cremated, yeah. You see, back in the day, this is the way to go. You were kind of in a beautiful vault. Some people call these mausoleums and... You were placed in here with your coffin and I presume at the time they thought they would be there forever and these amazing buildings wouldn't ever um, crumble. But as you can see, quite clearly they are. This one has lost a whole piece out of it. Um, this would have been the door. Joseph, is it? Mm. Even a date. 1840 down at the bottom, I think. 1808 maybe. 18. Oh, eight. 1840. 1808. Aged yeah. 40. Yeah. So I don't uh, see a name, even a surname. No. Yeah. This one has like what I would call like a chest tomb up on top of the very, very top of it. Um, and you can just see the ferns growing out with the brambles. It makes actually, it makes quite beautiful. But as I said, it's, it is such a shame. And as we walk around, I'm squelching here because uh, the ground ooh, is so, so wet. But I mean, a lot of these, this building is quite simple. It's just literally stones, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not going to hold up. This one I would have thought would have held up. It's a stronger looking idea. Yeah. There's actually, do you know something? There's not an awful lot of headstones. See, this looks like to me like you know it didn't break over time like it was broken by somebody do you think that square gone out of yeah the and actually seems like the stone is pushed in yeah so although there is stones on the outside so who knows um but as i said this made 
the newspaper. Well, just the vandalism around here because when you see the graffiti on the walls. Well, yeah, there was graffiti on the walls, which doesn't bode well. I can see it there again. It's disgusting. Um, why does anybody feel like it's okay to come into a church? Ruins are not and desecrated with vandalism of the worst kind. They're not even tagging their name. It's disgusting. Look at those two. They, actually, that, that could be just one massive vault. Um, as I said, there's not an awful lot of headstones. There's a few dotted around. We're trying to make our way to some of them. Um, but I think any of the ones that we can see are dating maybe the 1800s, early 1900s, maybe. Cork and Clare and Perry seem to opt for the vault. Yeah, this area, the west of Ireland, do, definitely seem to have opted more for these vaults. Woo! Um, I'm just trying to make my way around just to give you a look at this vault. Wow, that's huge, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's just, it's one, but it's like a double, a double vault. Let me have a look at this now, guys. It's just stunning. That is a huge vault. But look at the, we have daffodils, we have buttercups, nettles, of course. Um, we have a huge dip in the ground just here. See that? Just here, it's like a dip in it. Um, I don't see any kind of an entrance on that vault, but I do see a beautiful headstone all on its own, just here. The ground on the outside seems to be much drier. We have a lot of moss on the ground as well. Look at that, guys. Let's see if we can. Yeah, we might take a, a look over in a second. We we'll see if we can read anything on this. Erected by Thomas Lamb, it looks like. Lamb, yeah, for something for his family. And 18... Nine or 12, is it? I think it's 1819. Okay. Just on that one. You can see the moss is completely covering it. Quite beautiful. Uh, we're just being careful where we walk. There's a couple of little um, stones every now and again. And I don't think it's from the ruins of the church. I, it, they might actually be... Mm. Yeah. It might oh, actually no, be... Um, do you know the field markers? Do you know, you have to be so careful because you just don't know. We're in Kerry, so if we fall into a hole, oh. we could end up like Darby O'Gill. Darby O'Gill and the little people. This is the, the county of Darby O'Gill, guys. For all of you that know, I love that so much. That film, I just adore it. I would presume that... Actually, they, when I'm closer to it, they look like they're two separate. But from the back, they're a solid uh, vault. They seem to be holding out quite well and maybe at this stage the overgrowth has completely covered it in. We actually have a headstone here just at my feet lying flat down. And that's the, the side of the ruins of the church. The church would have been beautiful actually. These vaults are just stunning aren't they? We'll try and make our way. Come in here at night. I wouldn't come in here at night. Not that I would be scared. I would be more scared of twisting an ankle. And falling. Right. I'm just going to get back out to the side. To do, um, I was just going to say, there seem to be a few little pathways. So it looks to me like people have walked certain um, areas of the, the cemetery. This certainly looks like a path. And as I said, not very many headstones. There's a couple of crosses there at the entrance that I might actually take a look at as well.
That is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that on the ground. Looks like it was a tomb at one stage, maybe. Maybe it's a headstone. It's upside down. Um, we get over to the another one here. Look, just here. It's broken as well. Uh, let's have a look at this cross when we come in. See, look at there's like a row of little standing stones or field stones or what I would call grave markers, and it possibly could be. Because they are dotted around the area. Beautiful cross here. This is just near the entrance of the gate. In loving memory of her parents, Michael O'Sheel. Uh, actually, I'm not quite sure. It looks like Sheel. Sheel. Sheel Liar. Sheel Liar. Shalire Mullen Shalire. died January the 1st, 1916, age 78. Margaret um, died May 24th. And of her sister, Catherine, 19, 18, excuse me, 1898, aged just 18, imagine. So sad. We are actually quite near Shannon Airport. I think we're here in, like obviously the wind, but I think there's a plane in the distance that I can hear. This one has um, rails going around it. And the problem with the rails is I can't get in to read it because I don't want to stand on the grave. I might be able to see it from this way. Uh, the memory of John, any day, 1877. It's the best I can read it because I can't, I don't want to kind of cross the, the little iron rail. We've one on the ground actually as well, just here. Eighteen thirty-eight, John. That looks like surgeon. John something surgeon of No, can't read it, but that certainly looks like surgeon to me, that word there. See that little cross up there, look, all on its own. Little tiny stone here. Wow. I don't want to show you the graffiti that's there, so I'm kind of trying to avoid that area. This vault seems to have held up a little bit better, maybe because it's um, a bit more sheltered, maybe. Not sure. Yeah, it seems to be completely closed. See ferns growing out with the moss, nettles. I'm trying to avoid the uh, graffiti, so if there's only a certain way I can turn. But uh, this is beautiful. And those runes, absolutely stunning. Actually, I'm going to show you this because I will blur out that image the best I can. I'd love to be able to see what that cross is. Look at the gorgeous little wild flowers growing. Um, yeah, so some of this place has been trodden down, which leads me to think that there are visiting. Won't get into that one. It's full of brambles and nettles, unfortunately. That to me, actually, do you know what? I was going to think in that it's like a vault. It is like a vault as well, but it's attached to the side of the ruins, which is quite strange, isn't it? So I wonder, I don't think the ruins of the church would have uh, had such a, unless, do you know what it could, no, it's definitely, I'm looking at the structure here, it's definitely a vault. 
I was going to say, is it stones that have to, you know, have um, been left after the runes have fallen? But uh, no, it's definitely a vault. I know my shadow's in the way now. Can't really show you properly. But just looking at the stonework and the shape of it. And this too has um, survived. But uh, not for long, I'd imagine. Not for long. A huge tree growing right out of the centre of it. Wow. Very peaceful here. Oh, it's, it is very, very peaceful. You just get that feeling of... And I mean, we walked, what, half a mile down here to get to this place. So my car is parked way off down because it's a little stony lane to come up to it. Um, it's so rural, like it is just so rural. And as I said, the gorgeous mountains surrounding us, it just uh, gives it such a... A peaceful, beautiful look to it. Right, so guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, we have another half an hour of drive to the next area. Um, absolutely beautiful, but as I said, it is falling apart. And in maybe another 20 years, there's not going to be much left. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Uh, let me know where you're from. If you're a new subscriber, say hello. Uh, but for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all again soon.